So, Skrulls are the bad guys. And you're a Kree. Well, I guess the best way to kick this off is to say, welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, you were first announced, I think it was during Comic-Con two years ago, maybe? I mean, you were standing next to Yondu. I know that he was full on blue costume. Yep. And now walk me through what has this experience been like all the way up till now, leading up to this moment? Hmm, what has it been like? I don't think we have enough time. It's a, a lot. Um, a totally new, like a completely new world um, to embody and to explore and super fun and playful. Um, I mean, I was fighting aliens on spaceships all day. Super fun and totally surreal. Your life began the day it nearly ended. We found you with no memory. We made you one of us. What can you tell us about Carol Danvers that we don't already know? Oh gosh, I don't know. What do you know? I don't know how to fill in the gaps. Um, the things that I love about Carol are that She's super strong and knows it and doesn't apologize for it. Um, she owns herself. She owns her mistakes. She tries to do the right thing and sometimes she doesn't and she apologizes for it. And I think that that's a really powerful message in this, that she's not perfect, that she's flawed. And that's part of why I felt comfortable stepping into this role was because of that flaw, because she's a flawed person. Well, you seem to be our only hope, I mean, without uh, trying to get something out of you, but judging from the very end of the last film, no, not the last one, the last uh, Infinity War, I think you're gonna play a pivotal role in this one. Is that fair to say? Yeah, might be. You're good at this. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. Now that you have your very own standalone film, who would you like to work with from all the, I mean, variety of characters that we have seen throughout the Marvel Cinematic oh. Universe? Hmm, who would I like to work with? Hmm, I really like Baby Groot. I mean, I guess now Teenage Groot. I am Groot! But Groot. And now, final question, okay. actually a bunch of them a little bit, because uh, I already mentioned that you're now part of this giant, of a franchise, uh -huh. and I compiled a list of a couple iconic one-liners okay. from your future teammates. I was wondering if you could tell me who said it. I'm definitely gonna be bad at this. We're just gonna give it a shot. But I'm not afraid. Mr. Stark, you have become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Was that Star-Lord, was that Thor, or was that Nick Fury? Nick Fury. That's right. Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. I didn't realize it was a multiple choice. This is gonna be fine. The price for freedom is high. It has always been. But it's a price I'm willing to, to pay. Thanos, Captain America, or Black Widow? Ooh. I feel like, is that, what is it again? The price for? Freedom is high. It, has, it always has been, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. Thanos? No, that's Captain America. The price of freedom is high. It always has been. And it's a price I'm willing to pay. Mm, it's also Thanos' vibe. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. Was that Thor? Was that Captain America? Or was that Captain Marvel? Well, I say it. That's yours. But why would you ask me that? I said it. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. Just check it in. I'm so happy that I got to get that one right. Don't do anything I would do, and definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area, and that's where you operate. I know that one. Oh, tell me. Stark. That's right. Don't do anything I would do, and definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a, there's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Yeah, I didn't do so bad.